Okay, so um, let's go to governance. Uh, ultimate accountability for Squidip rests with the Stormwater Australia Board um, as people with a sort of uh, legal liability for operations of Stormwater Australia. Uh, but there's, I guess, two, three really important bodies that sit um, within the governance framework. One is a governance panel. Uh, and so we see these people as being eminent uh, individuals, um, both within coming from the stormwater space, but also with the experience in governance and evaluation uh, that are the overseers of the program. And importantly, the governance panel will be the group that will arbitrate in relation to any disputes uh, that arise through Squid. Uh, down the bottom of this flowchart, there's an independent evaluation panel and a technical review panel. The independent evaluation panel are the most critical um, part of the governance and evaluation process. We've submitted an expression of interest, so we called for expressions of interest, and we've received a great um, response to that. We've got a short list at the moment who uh, we're looking forward to announcing very soon to the industry, but we've got a short list which includes, I think, 16 of the most respected and brightest minds in stormwater quality management in Australia. Uh, and we think that's going to give people a great deal of confidence in terms of the probity uh, and rigour that's going to be applied to uh, the program. Whenever an application is submitted, it will be given to two separate members of the independent evaluation panel. And they'll look at a submission um, independently and then they'll come together to perform a joint report. Um, uh, and that the recommendations and reports will be transparent and available to everyone through the Stormwater Australia website. The technical review panel will be a, a wider body and will include a, uh, a far greater number of people from um, academia and, and regulators. And that'll be the group that will be responsible for overseeing and endorsing any changes to the protocol that will happen from time to time. So we've scheduled in an initial 12 month review. We think the protocol is pretty good, but we know there's gonna be a lot of learning and experience from its first year in application. So we've got a scheduled 12 month review. And at this stage, we're envisaging probably a, a a review every two years from that point forward. We want it to be reviewed regularly, but we don't want to change too rapidly, too readily, because these testing programs are really expensive um, and we don't want to um, have people investing um, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in testing programs and the rules changing drastically because that would erode confidence in the process.